Good morning, everyone. So you've probably noticed my screen's a little bit different. That's because today I thought I would talk about a little bit about XP. Um, this is a virtual machine, obviously, of XP, uh, but I still have clients who use XP uh, for their businesses, for AutoCAD and CNC machines and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I got a call out uh, a couple of days ago for uh, I, to install a printer. Um, when I spoke to the client, I didn't even dawn on me when I spoke to them on the phone that they were uh, an XP client. They have several CNC machines that are XP, but they do all their CAD, AutoCAD still on XP. It's not connected to the internet. Uh, it's a separate standalone computer. Um, and so when he asked, called up and said, hey, I'm having problems installing a printer, I didn't think anything of it at the time. And then when I got there, he goes, there's the printer, there's the computer. I'm going, ooh. That's XP. And this is a brand new brother's printer. Uh, and I looked at it and I'm going, well, I'll do what I can. And uh, it was already connected with a USB cord, which is good. Um, and I checked it and uh, yep, it was detecting that it was there, but it was not installing because, well, you know, the brother's printer is like maybe six months old. You know, I didn't look at the manufacturing date, but you know, it's new. And of course, Windows XP has been retired forever ago uh, and uh he told me the disc was in the disc drive popped it out and checked sure enough and uh, i said did you make sure it was compatible with xp and he goes well they said it is he goes but i don't know i didn't see the symbol on the box and so i looked at the box and i didn't see the symbol on it either but i'll give it a try what's the worst thing he has to do take it back and get another one so uh of course you know for windows xp uh, installing a printer uh, nowadays when you're installing a printer via USB cord you just plug it in usually Windows does everything else or as I've shown you in previous videos you use the Windows Store and you load up the uh, the appropriate manufacturers printer control and then it does everything else uh, the only thing you have to do on newer printers is if you have it hooked up wirelessly then you have to connect it to your Wi-Fi first, then you could do the app. But for a USB cord, you just normally plug it in. As long as you've got internet, it does its thing. It takes about three to five minutes generally and you're done. XP, on the other hand, because there's no more support for it, uh, the software is getting harder and harder to find. Obviously, finding drivers for it is... You know, especially if you have to go to another computer, put it on a flash drive, bring it over, download it. Yep. Yeah. Um, so just out of curiosity, the disk was in there and uh, I looked and I didn't see a specific folder on the installation disk. It said XP. So I started to worry. So I had to do something on a Windows XP, XP machine. I haven't done in a while. Um, and this is go into printers. And you've seen me do printers before and manually add it. And when you manually add it, um, of course, just like with Windows 10, you could manually add it and you could choose some options and so on and so forth. I started going through every driver that was on the DVD or the CD. I'm sorry. Finally, I found one that worked for XP. It wasn't, it was not clearly marked XP, uh, but it was the universal drivers and almost every manufacturer has a universal driver. Um, sometimes they're called uh, PLS or PSL, uh, PostScript language. Sometimes it's called uh, PC something. I can't remember, but they're they're universal drivers. Um, and so I put that one in. I was like, we'll see. Um, and sure enough, it took. And I went over and printed off a, a test page, and it worked. And I printed off a uh, um, a text document that worked. And then I went over to his AutoCAD programs. Um, and printed off designs on this new printer and it worked and so yeah um, just so you're aware <laughs> it's going to be harder and harder to get XP machines to work with brand new printers it, it's just so there's gonna come a day that it's not gonna be possible or um, the example his old printer that was sitting there was an old laser jet uh, 6p um, with a parallel port yeah um, so yeah, the day is going to come that uh, you won't be able to hook up a printer to a, a, an XP machine, period, it, because the technology is just going to be too advanced. But yeah, I wanted to let you know that so you are aware that 
I do know now that for certain that the Brothers printers works, and I'm pretty sure um, the smaller desktop versions of the HP printers, the laser printers work. So, because um, I've done that one before for a different client uh, a few months back. So, but yeah, uh, they still can, I can still make them work on XP. So, um, <laughs> it might be a problem might give me might give me a headache but yep I can usually get it to work it just might take some time and I might need a different computer to pull down drivers off the internet if I can find drivers so but yeah Windows XP um, brothers printers laser printers yeah they still work apparently HP obviously works uh, as for all inkjet printers I have no clue um, if you are requiring a printer that uses a parallel port which is the big wide one um, and back of your XP machine has a big wide connection. Um, I don't think you're going to buy a brand new computer. I will have to find a refurbished one for you. And that might take a while also. So if you are in need of a parallel printer, uh, yeah, the big ribbon on the back. And what you do is just go over to your printer. And if you see a big wide connection on to the back of it, that's parallel printer. Um, if you're in need of a printer that or you think you're going to be in need of a printer uh, that takes the parallel port definitely get a hold of me so I can go shopping for you and find one uh, because they are getting harder and harder to find there are wonderful people out there in the world who refurbish these things um, but yeah uh, parts are getting harder and harder to find so if you're going to need a parallel printer get one while you can I know I've got one client I've been looking for a parallel printer dot matrix printer for over a year can't find it so um, yeah if you need those types of printers call me let me know and we'll start the hunt for you so if you found this insightful um, you know your usual stuff like share subscribe if you don't have a Google account we do have a Facebook page if you got computer problems or you need some assistance give us a call we'll be glad to help you out you guys have a great day talk to you later